uh, just uh, recently, uh, I have a customer uh, reporting when they integrate uh, Big IP uh, into the OpenShift uh, uh, cluster network, the VXLAN network. The Big IP cannot uh, reach to the pod in the OpenShift uh, cluster. Um, uh, so, yeah, so their, their problem is uh, when run the uh, show net ARP uh, to get to see if they can get ARP uh, entry for the pod, and uh, the ARP entry shows uh, the uh, shows uh, incomplete. It's not real, the ARP address is not resolved. Um, so yeah, so it means they have no. Uh, network connectivity between Big IP and uh, the OpenShift uh, pod. So, uh, we have a, a capture uh, to show the problem, and uh, I'll show you the, the capture here. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, if we just filter on the uh, VXLAN um, packet, uh, we can see there are uh, up, up broadcast up broadcast uh, to uh, each uh, VTAP host in their network environment. See, uh, as you can see here, um, uh, this is to uh, the VTAP host. Uh, uh, 79 this and uh, this up uh, request is to vtap host uh, 158 uh, so there, there's a multi uh, multiple up request uh, to different uh, uh, vtap host asking for the for the um, pod ip arp um, yeah. So for this pod IP address, and uh, and uh, this is the uh, our broadcast. So that do uh, the uh, OpenShift pod. Uh, did reply with our uh, reply, uh, and uh, you can see um, from so this is our reply from the pod. Um, it tells the uh, its MAC address, but somehow the up reply is ignored uh, by the big IP, and uh, so. Uh, later, we found out in the ARP reply, uh, in the encapsulated ARP reply uh, VXLAN packet, it has uh, v VXLAN network identifier ID, uh, this ID. But if you look at um, uh, the ARP request, the VXLAN network identifier is zero. And by the way, um, this encapsulated op reply is from VTAP host uh, 108, 103. So where is the op re request? So this is a op request to VTAP host 108103. So this is up reply. So basic basically means um, uh, this uh, pod IP is on VTAP host 108103. So but it's get ignored um, because because it has a, a VXLAN network uh, identifier ID. So, 
uh, to make it work, uh, this should be uh, zero. Uh, so we ask it the we, we ask it the customer to uh, change the network, uh, change the configuration here. Uh, change the according to our the documentation. Um, OpenShift add IP device to OpenShift cluster network. So it has um, a specific config configuration here. Um, in the annotation, you needed to specify the V. Uh, uh, VXLAN VN ID to zero. So this this is how uh, they resolved their problem. Yeah. So but but I talk, wanted to talk about um, uh, uh, the initial confusion I had, uh, which is uh, I have a. Kubernetes uh, cluster, uh, VXLAN cluster network, and uh, uh, in that setup, I don't really see, um, I don't really see op request sending from big IP because the the uh, Kubernetes uh, big IP controller uh, is supposed to set up the ARP for each pod on the big IP. Uh, automatically, uh, there's no need for uh, big IP to send up request for the pod to get pod ARP. Um, so if we look at the uh, OpenShift VXLAN configuration for big IP, we noticed here. Uh, when creating the VXLAN tunnels on the big IP, there is a configuration um, called flooding type. Uh, for in OpenShift, it's configured as multipoint. Uh, but if we go to the uh, Kubernetes uh, documentation, when when creating the uh, tunnels for on big IP for the VXLAN. You you notice the flooding type is a long, uh, so here that's that's why here's the difference. Uh, when you specify the flood flooding type to long, um, big IP will not uh, send up a uh, request for pod. But if you set a flooding type to multi point, uh, big IP will send a uh, up uh, broadcast to each VTAP host. For the pod ARP, so yeah, so this is the one thing I, I, I like to point out. Uh, yeah, what else? Yeah, I think that's uh, basically uh, much of it, and uh, so. And uh, I, I do uh, look at the code and see how the big IP uh, Kubernetes controller uh, controls uh, if set up ARP for the on the IP on the big IP in OpenShift or in Kubernetes uh, cluster network. And uh, I believe I have a uh, some sleep. Some code here showing, yeah, yeah. So, so I I look at the big IP uh, con Kubernetes controller code, and in the VXLAN, in the VXLAN um, manager code. It's, uh, Yeah, in the VXLAN manager code, um, uh, 
uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk it about later in more detail.